What's up? This is HG News. So, I'm having the phone for at least the new iPhone for about six days, maybe five days or so. I'm taking the use of the review because it's iPhone 8. It's worth, I guess, money. It's working fine. Besides, I'm having a little bit of trouble with 4K footage. I'm trying to upload. And it's working pretty good. The battery's lasting. Everything's fine. Like it was, I do have benchmarks on the app that I will bring up and say is iPhone 8. It's a iOS 12.4.1, so it's around. It's close to. It's like 2.39 gigs, so it's one of those bionic uh, A11 bionic chips from Apple. It's got close to two gigs of memory. So, the, AP, the API is metal, which is usual for Apple products. So, it's ARM, it's fast. So, it's a lot quicker than the phone I had in the past. And that it's, it's expensive, but you know, it's going to last. So, that was Geekbench 4. That was. I downloaded that for like a dollar. Had money in there, so I just spent money like 99 cents. They have to get it, and then took a while to test it, but it was good. Normal, it's got that black kind of finish on it. You know, that space gray. It's got 4K support, but technically I, I'm not seeing it on YouTube while testing in private video on my account where it doesn't show until I know it's technically working very well and that I can upload it to you guys and you can see it in 4k there might be only one to me with my own vision with glasses on of course or without it doesn't really look you know technically 4k because I have a PS4 Pro that looked a whole lot better in video and that it upscales and, you know, I do have vision troubles. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly um, nearsighted. I mean, I don't think I'm nearsighted or one of, the, one of the ones where you can't see far. Nearsighted, that's, that's the one I, I got. Yeah, I got bad vision. I do actually have bad eyes, and it's genetic. So, yeah, I'm finding a sinus issue because it's the full time I'm actually allergic to a pollen of a wagweed and you don't know that is it's like a certain weed that grows in the US during the fall time from you know August till the first frost and technically I gotta stay away from cantaloupe, watermelon, cucumbers and pickles because pickles are made from cucumbers basically. The pickled and then they put salt and flavoring and they compress them in a way in a pressure cooker that does the work to get all that fluid in there. I definitely can't have none of that until the you know winter time because it's I had reactions to it before with the allergies with my body and even if I don't have it I'm staying away from it. And I've been staying away from cheese, dairy, pizza because it's been causing me issues with my drainage with the lungs and that they haven't been filled because of that reason they had not really gotten inflamed with that phlegm because I've been avoiding those foods because of um, allergy to that too to milk that I might be more sensitive to where I get mucus reduction overloaded amount in my lungs it starts in the throat you know the nose and it goes straight down and then you know I have trouble breathing so I haven't had to use a lot of inhalers I was gagging a couple days ago. I kept using cough drops, you know, every so often, you know, when I needed it, basically. Make sure I wouldn't gag, but, you know, there was times where I had to go to the bathroom and uh, spell it and get it out. So, yeah, it, it's like that seasonal for me. My body's been fighting it, but I've been having to blow it out a lot with my nose, so it's actually working. My body's at least trying to fight this. Um overload of, you know, from the the weed out there that's basically what I'm allergic to. But the rest of the pollen and all that included, so it's, it's really bad this year in this area. Trust me. People around me who had the same allergies are, are really suffering. 
I'm at least fighting it without any bike or sword. You know, my body's just had enough of it, basically built resistance to it. And I'm going to try to get in today and get checked out still because it's still worth getting checked out by Urgent Care, which is only, what, a couple miles from here. I got a good, I got good insurance. I shouldn't have to pay nothing because they maxed out my deductible. So, yeah. I got to take the asthma. asthma. I may not even have asthma, so that's, there's a possibility for that, too. But, you know, um, yeah, it's improving. I see when I go to Pizza now, I order something online. I've been ordering those chicken wings, you know, the boneless. Especially the burning hot ones instead of the pizza that would inflame my lungs with phlegm and be horrible. Not be able to talk to you guys or anything like that. So it'd be really terrible. And I need to give up that food item. I'm afraid I'm just... I eat too much of when I get sick, and it's like everything I get from China, from like a Chinese place or like a, a Mexican. I try to get rid of the cheese now. I go to the store to Walmart and I buy the non-cheese burritos. You know, they just have the beans and the beef, or sometimes just spicy and beef and nothing else. No cheese added to it, luckily, which my body is terrible reacting to it. Apparently, I'm not allergic to it. Just my body just produces this phlegm that is sensitive to this kind of protein from milk so yeah it's annoying it's i was allergic to this kind of food for like five years including eggs so it's like it's not it's not easy to avoid some of these foods you know it's sometimes you can avoid it but if i can avoid eating not eating a potato see which always made me sick by the way with all that milk with a higher concentration of milk and it just isn't good for me anymore so, I'm going to probably have to stay away from it. I just get too often really sick. And it's just not worth it. I mean, I have to take a lot of medicine to get over it. And it ain't worth eating a pizza every so often. If I can just have a, some hot wings, boneless, that don't have any kind of dairy in them and are fine. So, yeah, my sinuses are not always the best. I may not always sound the best either, but... Right now, when I've been staying to a stricter diet, non-dairy and non-milk, it's been doing better, with me speaking, compared to my usual self, who I would eat a lot of cheese products. It's like, I just need to cut, off, cut that out of my diet, and I did, so I'm washing no dairy, nothing like that, so bread's still fine, it just, as long as I don't get that high concentration of dairy, I'm good. If you're new to the channel... Go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below. Of course, I'm a little gaggy, but it's not as bad. So, thank you. So, thanks for watching. See ya.